Don't you open up that window championship, the Panthers of Georgia State. Continuing from the West Coast Conference, Gonzaga's Bulldogs, no stranger to the postseason tournament. The Metro Atlantic Conference champions, the Gales of Iona, check in with a 20 and 13 record. The Kansas Jayhawks, how many times have we heard the Kansas Jayhawks are in the NCAA tournament out of the Big 12? And from the Southeastern Conference, the Kentucky Wildcats. From the Atlantic Sun, here's something you've never heard before. Lipscomb is in the NCAA tournament for the first time ever and are the PUSA Marshall's Thundering Herd. And that rounds out the top half of the AQs, right? So there were 32 of those and you've done 16, so let me do the math. Thank you very much. That's why we have the last three more hours. Uh, the Michigan Wolverines are, of course, have won to the Big Ten Championship. They are in. How about the Montana Grizzlies, their first NCAA tournament since 2013 out of the Big Sky? The Murray State Racers out of the Ohio Valley, uh, their first time since 2012 after winning the Ohio Valley Conference Tournament, beating Belmont by 17. How about the North Carolina Central Eagles out of the MEAC and their head coach, LaBelle Moten, the greatest nickname ever, poetry in Moten and Central is in. New Mexico State's Aggie. And a program record, 28 wins. They go 28 and 5. You talk about a heart-stopping tournament championship game today in the Ivy League. How about Penn knocking off Harvard? First win, they are 0 and 2. And the San Diego State Aztecs, their first NCAA tournament since 2015. And they beat Nevada, and they were just getting warm as they beat New Mexico for the championship. Stephen F. Austin, the Lumberjacks of the Southland Conference, their fifth NCAA tournament appearance in school history, the third in the 